I start small, piece by piece, dress by dress. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vasa Olga, and during full time, right at the end of spring, probably this time around, or maybe the beginning of winter, I actually take care of my closet. So. Some things that I will probably keep, some things that I will donate, some things that I will, some things that will get in trash. Um, I do this a lot because I hate when it's a little bit clustered. I don't really like when I have so much stuff that I don't really wear or use or they're outdated or maybe out of my style. So if they are in really good condition, I usually offer them to my friends, family. If this stuff in bad condition, I will of course just put them in a dumpster. And um, if some stuff that my mom doesn't wear or just like none of my friends wants to get, um, I'll just put them not really far from um, like a, a, a trash can or like nearby where someone can pick it up. I don't really put this there in a trash. I, I put them in some boxes and then I just put them not really far from trash. In less than an hour, they're gone, like completely gone. And another way, I live in a building. So we have lots of apartments there and I just leave them on the first floor. Someone who's interested, they're just gonna grab it. That's normally how I do that. I try to sell some of my stuff, but most of the time I'm not patient because they're still gonna sit in my closet for some period of time while people buy them. So I just like put them in a box and live somewhere else because the expiration date is now. Well, I'd say that most of my stuff is not here right now, uh, but I can definitely show you something that I'm not gonna be wearing and it'll, I'll explain why. I have this white jeans that I've been having for ages, literally for ages, five years in total. So they are low waist, let me show you. So these are low waist somewhere here and um, they're ripped. So the white color is not white anymore. It has some cream shade right now. Then another thing that I don't really like about them is just because they're low waist. I love high waist jeans and skirts and that is the main reason. I do believe they're these type of skirts and jeans, they suit me a little bit better than this type of jeans. That is the main reason why I want to get rid of them. And first of all, um, I can say that I have a few spots and specks here and there. That is the main reason why I'll probably keep it around the house or probably I'll just put them in the dumpster because I don't really want to offer those jeans to anyone else. Not even my family because it still has lots of specks. It's, it, it's like low waist and it's definitely not, not white anymore. It's just like some weird stuff. I actually washed them, but it didn't help them. So I'll probably keep it for my home or I'll just put them in the dumpster. They're going to the trash. Um, another thing that I have, it's just, I guess this year it's probably not that much stuff, but it's definitely something that I do regularly, maybe every six months. Then I try on some new stuff that I love or maybe I don't really like and I try to style it. If I can't style this, then I'll probably get rid of it. Another dress, I was a huge fan of this dress and um, it's pink, it's pretty, it has a really nice cut on the back and I really love that uh, until the summer, I'd say that it's a little bit, um, it's not even old fashioned, I'd say that I don't like the fact that it's too girly and it doesn't resonate with me anymore. So it has this um, skirt, it's sorta high waist skirt and then it's super plain on the front and on the back it's just some really beautiful cut. I love that for some period of time and then I don't really like it anymore. It's not my style, not my style anymore. I can put it on for you guys but I don't really know if I should. It's definitely going to someone else. I will tell you that I am 28 and this December I'm 29, so wearing something at the age of 28 or 29 like that, it might be cool if you look like this girly girly girl, but if you feel like your style has evolved and you just, you know, discovered something that is a little bit different for your complexion or maybe your body shape and uh, you just shift it a little bit into different direction and you're into more styling. First of all, it's a little bit harder to style this dress. It's really close to something that Sex in the City had, um, especially Sarah Jessica Parker, but she didn't have this type of skirt. Um, she had this in the film, the first part film, Sex in the City, where she had this pink skirt, but it was more like, um, um, like a little bit different shape of skirt. I'll probably just give it away. Um, someone who really needs it, or I'll just leave it uh, nearby some trash can in the box and um, probably someone is gonna take it. Um, this one is a little bit different. You can create a bow like around my waist and it's really, really cool. I'll tell you that I will probably never wear this dress 
ever. I don't know why, but I mean, um, the story behind this dress. I love it so much. I will never probably give this up. I don't know if you have my daughter and she has the same style or like, um, I don't know, she grows up and around 14, 15, she wants to put this on. I'd love to give it to her. Right now, it's a little bit too girly, but I'd say I started dating my husband in this dress. I was 16 and a half. It was my fourth date with him and I still remember it clearly and that is the main reason why I just can't get rid of some certain things and I guess there are two uh, main things in my closet that I will probably never get rid of because it's just too much memories the first one is white jacket that I wore for my wedding day and the second one is this beautiful dress that I wore for my fourth date so that's why it's probably not gonna be worn ever but it's something that i will probably keep as some really nice memories and last but not least these are my black sandals i actually really love it because it doesn't have a high heel which is so cool and it's great but a little bit different point here is that it's um the size is a little bit smaller than my actual size i actually can put them on but it has some um, rubber bands or something like some rubber right here and every single time i wear it it's just it's so tight and it's pressing on my feet and that is the main reason why I can't just wear it. It hurts and in probably like one hour it really hurts. And I offered these to my sister and uh, she's 15 so you can understand that she's like, ew, it doesn't look cool. It's not cool at all. I'm like, okay, if it's not cool for you, so you wear sneakers instead of any sort of sandals at all. Um, so these are really comfortable, but these are just a little bit smaller than my actual size. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. I, I believe I don't really have anything else to share for now. Probably next year I'm going to be getting rid of um, some of other wardrobe stuff. But for now, I really love, by the way, I had this cardigan. It was super long, and I asked my mom to cut this in half. And then I have this cropped cardigan. It's so cool how you can change some certain things in your closet. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to add. And I, I believe it was informative for you guys that you should definitely take care of your stuff at least once in six months or like no less than one year. I do that constantly. I get rid of old stuff and then I just purchase some new stuff. I'm not gonna be naked and wearing absolutely nothing. Of course, I have to choose from something, but you know, it's like, um, I remember the story of my grandma. I talked to my husband while my grandma was sitting there and listening to our dialogue. And I told my husband he had this weird ripped off, um, like, I don't know, trousers or something. He was wearing them at home and I was like, okay, so just like, get rid of them they're like full of holes just get rid of them because i'm like no i really love them so he was sewing them and uh, yeah and my grandma was like um before telling him to get rid of his stuff maybe you should check out your stuff and he turns to my grandma and says actually she does it every six months and she's like really do you do that and i was like yeah i actually do that i actually get rid of stuff maybe i don't really throw away tons of my uh, stuff, but at least I start with like I start small piece by piece dress by dress. I am Really sad that I I get rid of um, One of my dresses and one of my jackets not that long ago probably like two months ago And I wanted to record it But then I just forgot and I and I love them nearby some trash can so yeah guys um, Just don't forget that it's always really helpful to air your closet. Let's say I hope you enjoyed today's small video. It wasn't related to makeup, it was related to some um, closet stuff. And I hope I'm gonna see you in my next video, guys. Love you so much. Bye bye.